And the riders are just getting themselves into position. Let's talk you through the starting grid for this first race of the Titan Beds BMB stock or 160 for Group B. We should see some uh, pretty exciting battles. Alex Thurston and Joe O'Neill on that uh, front row of the starting grid with Andrew Jones and Mike Smallbones on the second row. Dan Edlin and Paul Ward are next up. And then it's going to be David DeGroote and Liam Greenland. Uh, Axel Dowell and John Penning will round up the top 10 from Matt Cox and Hugh Jones. Ben Salter and Peter Wadsworth. Then it is Tom White and Dennis Latham, James Lewis and Mark Hancock. Nathan Smith and Scott McGiven. Uh, Anthony Baker and Simon Ward. Then it is Paul Bingley and Stephen Pickard. Mark Prattley and Kira Williamson from Matis Wazowski. We're, of course, uh, broadcasting live via the British Minibikes uh, Facebook page as well as Alpha Live as well. Do please uh, share your messages of support and good wishes to all of the riders out there. 20 races through the course of the day for each of the classes, and it's going to be a very action-packed day at the races. But looking out of my commentary box window, I can already see in position on that front row of the grid for Group B, Andrew Jones versus Mike Smallbones. They will blast off the grid, and it's going to be fantastic to watch them. Yellow flag at the back of the grid, green flag at the front. The lights will come on, and when we go racing, green flag and off and away and it's a cracking start already from the 17 of Mike Smallbones and it's no start at all for the 101 of David De Groot. De Groot hasn't got away at all so De Groot has had a problem it looks as though the mudguard has fallen off the back of the oh, it's the uh, seat pillion that's on the back of the bike but already straight away it is the 17 that has got away off a fantastic start Mike Smallbones has launched into the lead as they come up towards Ashby for the first time a cracking getaway as the 101 of uh, David De Groot finally gets going Yes, De Groot's had a good season so far, but uh, it might be a big ask for him to come back into this, this contention for this race. Huge lead already coming down the hill and onto the back straight for our leader. Yep, Jones has got himself nicely into second position there with Paul Ward already starting to have a look into the boot. He's Ward up the inside. No, he's not quite close enough. He's going to have to slot himself into position. A great little tussle going on for fifth position in there behind the uh, treble three of Dan Edlin. So as they come through at the end of the first lap, it is Mike Smallbones who heads the way. Second position for Jones. Then it's Ward, Edlin, Axel Dow making a cracking flyer. Greenland, Cox, Pilling, Nathan Smith and Callum Brown in the top ten. Yes, fantastic first lap for Ben Salter and James Lewis as well. They've made up a number of positions. Uh, further down the field, David De Groot drops down the order. Uh, interesting to see what kind of lap times he'll post with a clear track, though. Well, Small Bones has gone round in a 59.672 for the first flying lap. That's incredible compared to everybody else who's not even able to break 60-second mark at the moment. Uh, up the inside again, Paul Ward has a little bit of a nibble there, and Andrew Jones is not quite going to be able to get the move. Dan Edlin is looking pretty racy there in fourth position as they lean into the left-hander and onto the back straight up towards the boot. They're going to go into the ankle. Up the inside, this is surely going to be a move for second. And right round the outside, Edlin attacks big style and that's going to be third position if you can hold on to it Andrew Jones is going to try and commit round the outside but that's beautiful it's small bones from Ward Edlin and Jones brilliant there from Daniel Edlin sees the opportunity Paul Ward and himself now chasing down Mike Smallbones in first it'll be interesting to see if they can work together for a couple of laps to bridge that what's already a three second gap well, sadly, Callum Brown has slipped away to 15th position on that lap with a few places lost there. But up into the top 10 has come Tom White just in there behind Nathan Smith. We've got Hugh Jones in uh, 11th from Ben Salter and Peter Wadsworth. Then it's Lewis Brown, Bingley, Dennis Latham, uh, Mark Hancock, Anthony Baker. And rounding up the 20, it is Scott McGiven with some cracking rides in the early stages as now we're getting into the sub-60s. Mike Smallbones has just taken this opportunity and is running away with it. His lead is currently 3.1 and he's already in the boot as these guys are coming out of the left-hander. Yes, yeah, so let's see at the end of this lap if Paul Ward can make a dent into that three seconds. His first clean lap out of the traffic. Is he going to make an impression on that three seconds? They're coming around the boot now. We'll shortly find out. Have we got ourselves a two-horse race? Or is Mike Swarbrick going to run away? With oh, and a down, down to the final turn. Ooh. That has gone terribly, terribly wrong out of the final turn. Red flag instantly. No surprises at all there. And that is Axel Dowell who has gone down the 290. So straight away, red flag. That is a very bad fall out of uh, the uh, heel of the boot. And to green be flag fair, at the top, and it is green flag down. It's a cracking start once again from Smallbones. Great getaway as they blast up through to the first corner. Once again, jostling for position. Oh, there's a, t a couple of riders that have gone off onto the grass. That's a little bit of a clumsy start, unfortunately, for both of those riders who have dropped down the order. Couldn't quite see 
uh, which bikes involved in that one, but as they come up through Christmas for the first time, it is uh, yellow flags at the first corner as those two riders continue to get themselves back together. That is good. They will continue on the race. It's definitely not as dominant a run at the start from Smallbones, but Paul Ward is tucked in behind him there in second position, and Ward has stood up and paid attention on this uh, second start. He wants to get after Smallbones early. De Groot up to fourth there. That's an overtake maneuver on the yellow suited rider who I want to say is Jones. Yes, I think so. He's dropped down into fifth place now. Uh, lost a couple of positions there coming through the middle section of the track. Coming out of the boot now, we'll see what the race order is. Treble three pushing hard. Dan Edlin is he's already got pressure from the 101 of De Groot. So here they come. It is Smallbones Ward. Third position, it is De Groot in front of Jones, Greenland, Pilling. Uh, Dan Edlin's not coming through on the transponder for some reason. He is in third position, though. So the treble three, you can see him there in front of De Groot. But for some reason, he's not transponding. So Edlin should be there in third place in behind Smallbones and Ward. Then it's De Groot, Andrew Jones, Liam Greenland, John Pilling, Tom White, Callum Brown and Hugh Jones ahead of Peter Wadsworth just outside the top ten. Uh, it is Matt Cox and Paul Bingley who have come through after everybody else. So it was those two that went down initially on the uh, first run. One of them has come through. It is uh, Matt Cox who yes, has not come through. Uh, just at the top of the hill there. Oh uh, yes, Jake. he stalled it on the way out of uh, Christmas, unfortunately, uh, uh, continuing on that first lap. So uh, we have actually added the time to the previous run. So uh, they're continuing on their way. Still no sign of Dan Edlin on the timing screen, although he is uh, still there in third position across the line. And there are four laps to go. But for Small Bones, it's good as, uh, good as gold at the moment. Ahead of Ward, Edlin, De Groot, Jones, Greenland, Pilling and White. We have uh, picked up where we left off with Smallbones Ward and Edlin, our front three. Although De Groot puts in a challenge there oh. into Christmas Corner, doesn't quite make it stick. Uh, like you said, get out of jail free card for him. He's back up into fourth place, uh, just ahead of Andrew Jones, who was fourth before the restart. Oh, that was a bit brave from De Groot trying to get up the inside there at Ashby. Had to hang back there and tuck in behind Dan Edlin once again. So uh, the treble three is still there in third on the road. For some reason, he's not showing up on the timing screen, but he will be put back by the end of the race. 17, Smallbones leads the way. Ward in second position. Then it is Edlin de Groot, Jones, Greenland, Billing, White, Jones, Wadsworth, and Mark Hancock just outside the top 10. Now in front of Callum Brown, who has slipped back behind Jones, Wadsworth, and Hancock. Uh, Lewis in 13 from Ben Salter, who's uh, made in, making some good progress, actually. Salter's lap times are pretty quick. Uh, then we've got Baker in front of Latham, McGiven, Smith, Simon Ward and Kira Williamson is currently rounding out the top 20. We are following the battle for third position. Dan Edlin out in front. The group goes to the inside at Christmas Corner. He's done that a couple of times now. He's only had a look though. He hasn't made anything stick so far. And the difficulty is with only a six lap sprint, you've got less time to try and build up to this. So the grid is just gonna charge it out the inside. He endos, oh. oh, and he's clattered into Edlin. And that has caught out uh, the 104 of Jones as well. That has not gone well at all. Poor Edlin, let's watch that again. You can see, look, he stabs on the brakes here, Degroot, as he charges forward, he endos into the corner, clatters into the side of Edlin, Edlin is taken down, and it leaves poor Andrew Jones nowhere to go either. Yeah, a bit of misfortune there it's for Edlin, he's uh, raced well so far this afternoon, but uh, it'd be interesting to see now if Degroot can push on and catch up Smallbones and Ward. Ward keeping him honest with only a 0.6 second gap so far this race. So De Groot in third position, but I have a feeling there'll be a conversation or two after the race about that one. Jones has come through in fourth. Uh, Greenland is in fifth position. Pilling is in sixth. Where is Edlin on the road? Because he's not come through on the uh, timing screen. So I'm trying to figure out where the treble three is as they come through. Has he fallen right the way to the back or has he uh, parked the bike? I'll try and look through. Oh, De Groot is there in third on his own. Oh, the treble three, Edlin is diving through behind these two. Keep an eye on the green bike. There he is, side by side, trying to make his way through. And I think he is there on the inside. Well, he's certainly having a go. Oh, no, that's, uh, that's that is Jones, green. I think. That's Jones and Greenland, isn't it? Then it is the treble three. So he's got up pretty quickly. Edlin is trying to get himself back into position. Oh, no, sorry, that is not Edlin. That is, uh, that's uh, John Pilling, isn't it, on the 848. Round the outside, though. Good little bit of racing and a good duel through the boot as they come through once again. We're on the last lap and it is Smallbones from Ward. De Groot in third position as they come through this time by. That is the 309 up into fourth place. Liam Greenland in front of Andrew Jones and John Pilling. And they will round out the top six. I'm just trying to pick out where Edlin is on the circuit. If he's got the bike going again, he's not in the top 10. 12th, 
13th, 14th, 15th, 16th, 17th. No, he's, uh, he's uh, obviously parked the bike and pulled in. We're but for Smaller follow... Bones and Ward, it's for battling for the victory. Sorry, Jake, we're going to have to follow our leaders as they come out onto the back straight. Only 0.2 of a difference between them as they come around the last lap. Uh, but it doesn't look like Ward's close enough to make an impression into the boot. Well, he's going to need an, egg, an absolute banzai if he's going to flow it up the inside, into the toe, the double apex right-hander, and down the drop into the heel. It's going to be a super victory for Mike Smallbones, the 17. He's victorious in the first race of the weekend, and that means a lot. A nice salute there from Paul Ward, who fights the second place. And in third position, it is going to be 101, David De Groot, although there might be a little conversation about that one afterwards. 309, Liam Greenland is fourth over the line. Very close indeed between Jones and Pilling there as they came through. Uh, Tom White in seventh position from Hugh Jones. Uh, Peter Wadsworth just pipping Mark Hancock. Oh, sorry, that's Ben Salter. Salter's had an amazing last couple of laps, put himself up in a tenth position. A great ride there to get himself in the top ten. Uh, Hancock in 11th from James Lewis and Callum Brown. Anthony Baker through in 14th from Dennis Latham. Uh, Nathan Smith. And then Scott McGiven, we're just waiting for Simon Ward to come through on the uh, 23. He does so now. Kira Williamson should be the next one through, having a nice little battle to the line with Peter Tucker. And he's done it in the double one, double one in 20th position there, just in behind Kira Williamson. So uh, let's have a look at that again. This is the uh, move early on for Paul Ward. Diving up the inside there and making a nice little overtaking move. But watch around the outside. That was very lovely indeed. Some good battles. This is the endo that ended Edlin's charge. Plonk, down he goes. What's your opinion on that one, Jake? Race uh, incident or someone to blame? I don't know if a penalty needs to be handed to the group for that one, really. I think that one's up to the officials. I think that's, uh, I think that's arguable, actually. But he stabbed on the brakes. He did try and slow the bike down. But you can argue, unfortunately, that he's impeded another rider. He's uh, dented their chances in the race. But look at that. Great sportsmanship between the first two coming across the line as they fist bump. Uh, after a good battle there and it's good to see Smallbones and Ward uh, having a nice little moment there at the end of the race a very worthy result there for the first two across the line getting ready for the second race of the day the pit bike stock 160 for group A it's going to be Ryan Tyres and Jake Gowing on that front row of the starting grid with Luke Westerman and Aaron Walker on the second row of the grid. Championship leader Aaron Walker on that outside line of the second row. Keep an eye on him. That's going to be exciting. Marco Cinciarabino is going to be uh, very feisty in the 145 bike on the third row of the grid alongside Alfredo Tomasini. Then Ava Carter looking very strong on the fourth row of the grid. Just spoke to her before the start of the race. It should be a good one for her alongside Brendan Allen. And then uh, rounding out the top ten, it'll be Eduardo Quarta and James Mostica. Ben Klukas will be there on the sixth row alongside Jamie Callan. Then we're going to have Danny Underwood on the seventh row of the starting grid on the uh, 93 bike alongside Aaron Howe. Very, very close in terms of the uh, times between these guys. Only about uh, three seconds covering the entirety of those first seven rows. Then we have Bailey Harker alongside i'm not sure who we were alongside actually unfortunately on the 16th it's the owner of transponder 120112 uh, unfortunately i have no other information than that because it's what i've got on my screen as well uh, jake whittaker and steve booth will be together on the ninth row of the grid phil dickens and vincenzo rizzo are going to be there on uh, the 10th row of the grid so keep an eye on vincenzo rizzo uh, john buckle and gav tappenden are going to be uh, next in the line on the 11th row of the starting grid chris edwards and hugh jones will line up together on the 12th row of the starting grid and then we'll have uh, Ben Riley from Nathan Summers, Josh Stringer from Harry Webb, uh, Tom Salmon and Adam Jameson, Dan Shields, Callum Brown and Simon Wadsworth, a 33 bike field. And they are going to be absolutely chomping at the bit on that front row of the grid. Keep an eye on Walker on that second row of the starting grid is the pole sitter. The number 155 Ryan Tyres takes up his position on the inside line of that starting grid. Alongside him, Jake going on the far side. This is going to be a lightning start, Jacob. Yes, very much looking forward to this one. We've had a couple of good races from this lot already this year. Ryan Tyres in particular looking quick when he's been out. Obviously, as you said, Aaron Walker, our championship leader in the pink and green helmet right-hand side there. And Luke Westerman one to watch out for as well. Yeah, Westerman should be very strong. Anybody in the top ten can win this one in terms of their present form. Yellow flag at the back of the grid. The green flag up at the top. 
And we are racing at Wilton Mill. What a start from Westerman. He charges forward. That is one heck of a getaway from Westerman. We knew he was going to be strong coming into this one. And he blasts through Crooked Oblivion. Up Manuel's bank. And it's side by side for the lead. As they come up, it is going to be Jake Going making the move on the inside line. So Going takes back the lead from Westerman as they go through Christmas. Ryan Tyres is right in the mix there as well with Aaron Walker. But what a start from Luke Westerman. He was out of the blocks like a cannonball. Straight out the gates but uh, not what Ryan Tyres wanted at this point he's down in fourth place from pole position they make their way through Ashby no problem at all on the first lap everybody tickety boo as they go down into the long tight right uh, left hander onto the back straight this is going all guns blazing for Jake going as they make their way down in the braking zone for the boot going's got a very nice ride on him at the moment the lean angle is stable and comfortable as he is out in front, is that going to be a move for second position in the final turn? So nearly a move there on the inside for Aaron Walker up to third position now. Ryan Tyres is looking impatient here in fourth position. A brilliant start too from Ava Carter, who is up into fifth position in front of Tomasini and Cinciarabino. I will say, Jake, there are a number of riders who can win this race. But if they continue to battle amongst themselves, Jake Gowing will push off into the distance. Gowing, Westerman, Walker, Tyres, Carter, Tomasini, Cinciarabino, Alan Quarter, Mostica. That's your top 10 at the moment. Ben Kluka still knocking on the door in 11th position. But what a start from Westerman and uh, Carter. Absolutely inseparable in the paddock, of course, as we know. And uh, Westerman desperately trying to keep up with going. But at the moment, there is a nice little battle for third position between the championship leader, Aaron Walker, and Ryan Tyres, the original pole sitter. This is one heck of a scrap between these two. Yeah, they come back onto the start finish straight now. Jake Gowing has got just under a second's lead from Luke Westerman. Half a second back is Walker. Oh, he got it down! Badly for the lead. Who is that down in the first it's corner? Westerman. That's Westerman! Luke Westerman's gone into the barriers at Crooked Oblivion! Westerman is down! Oh, Luke Westerman is absolutely distraught. That is such a shame. Gowing is out in front, and it looks as though... Is that going to be a red flag? They are definitely walking across. Yes, red flags, red flags. So Westerman's gone down into the uh, into the barriers there. Let's have another look at it. I think we're going to get a replay. But we are under red flag conditions. The medical car is just making sure he's okay. Let's have a look at it. Plenty of lean angle. Was that his own making? Yes, it was. The bike just got away in front of him by the look of it. And slotting into position now is Alfredo Tomasini. The green flag is up. Let's race to Wilton Mill. And he's done it again. Charges through. It's going to be three wide in the corner. He's going to be second. For absolutely terrific start again from Westerman. But he's going to lose out on the exit there. That's going to be going through to the lead. And Ryan tires through in a second position. Westerman's going to try and cover the move out the exit of Christmas. But that is third position for the moment for the, fly, uh, for the flying Westerman. He doesn't look to be affected by the crash at all. Oh, there's an, off, there's an off behind. Somebody slowed down. Is that Tomasini? Is that Tomasini the three who's ended up running down at the back of the field? Up in the top six initially and right down to the back of the field. I think that is Tomasini. So Alfredo Tomasini has dropped all the way down to the back of the field now. And that is a real shame for the three. And into the boot, Westerman drops down to fourth. That's Aaron Walker sliding up the inside of him. Here comes Westerman having another go at the championship leader Aaron Walker into the toe of the boot as they come through again. It is Jake going who leads from tyres. Westerman in front of Cinciarapino. What's happened to Aaron Walker? The 133 has not come through on the transponder. But Aaron Walker, I think, is still there in third place, actually. So for whatever reason, Walker's not transponding. Uh, Tomasini's pulled off into the pit, so whatever it was that's caused the issue for Tomasini, the Italian, sadly, is out of this race. Meanwhile, the race, uh, the championship leader, Aaron Walker, is not showing on our timing screens for whatever reason, but he is there in third place in front of Luke Westerman. Yeah, we'll keep an eye on that one for you as they come down the hill onto the back straight. Very close between our two leaders. We'll follow them into the boot here. Garing leads tyres, and it'll be that way through the boot. This is one heck of a duel as now we've got Going and Tyres having an absolutely terrific battle into the final turn. Going drifting out slightly further wide than Ryan Tyres as they come through one more time. Walker is third, up to fourth now is the 145. What has happened to Westerman? Westerman's pulled into the pits. Westerman's pulled into the pits. Something is not right with the bike after that tumble. So Westerman is out of it. That's a real shame. That's inherited. Uh, fourth position has now gone to uh, Chichinopino. 
So it's uh, Cicinipino in fourth from Mostica, Ava Carter, Brendan Allen, Eduardo Carter, Ben Klukas and Danny Underwood. Yes, it may well be the injury that Westman sustained in that crash. It's proved to be too much after a couple more laps racing. I uh, hope to, uh, that, that he's all right. We'll uh, hopefully see him back out for the second race in this group. Check out the stance from Ryan Tyres. He is absolutely on it now. He's got into the lead past Jake Going. We didn't, I didn't spot that move. I apologise. But Going is going to come straight back at him into the final turn. Dives up the inside. Brilliant bit of feisty move. He puts his hand up. Oh, he actually... <laughs> having some kind of rodeo down the main straight there. He's got the lasso out, trying to take on Jake Going. What was that about? I've never seen that before. It must be something <laughs> they discussed off the track. Well, uh, Aaron Walker again has got a, a transponding issue. He hasn't come through for whatever reason. There's a little bit of uh, a battle going on between these two. Jake Going back in front and Ryan Tyres in second place. And there's a bit of showmanship between these two as they duel for position. Let's see what Ryan Tyres can do to get himself back up the inside. Walker is third. Chichidapino is fourth. Then it is Mostica in front of Ava Carter. That's your top six for the moment. Here comes Jake going up the inside into the, into the boots. Not going to happen in the left-hander. Maybe one of the double right apexes. He's, he's got plenty of throttle out of the turn. Not close enough in the final corner. Might get a good run off the turn. No, he's going to get a lot of power. Up towards Crook and Oblivion again. He's very close indeed with four to go as they go through Oblivion. Up towards Fine Lady and up Manuel's bank. Keep an eye on Aaron Walker. He's only a second half behind these two. As to the inside goes the 34, Jake Gowing. Oh, Doesn't lovely. Doesn't quite make it. Well, Tyres has got through. Jake Gowing's going to try again as they come up towards Ashby. He'll dive for the inside. Not going to happen. Ryan Tyres holds the position. Meanwhile, there is a great little tussle for fifth position. Ava Carter is challenging Mostiger for fifth place, but she's got pressure from Eduardo Quarter and the hard-charging Ben Klukas, who has come up in eighth position in front of Booth, Howe, Underwood, Harker, Callan, Whitaker, Edwards and Gav Tappenden. But the two out front still having a terrific duel. That's Aaron Walker, championship leader, in third position, trying to hang on there in front of Cincinnapino. Now there's transponders working. Hopefully we'll be able to keep an eye on that gap. It was 1.4 seconds, it's now 1.5. He hasn't made an impression on that, them on that lap, but he's got three to go. Really exciting stuff as they continue to battle away for position. Up the inside, is this going to be the move? Not quite, he's got to hang back. Absolutely sensational racing here. As up the inside, that's Ava Carter making the move on the inside of James Mustica through Christmas, and she's through. Supreme riding there from Ava Carter. That's up in a fifth position. Now she's got to try and shake off Mustica, Quarter, and Klukas. They're having a terrific scrap for fifth position. Absolutely. We'll follow this battle on the screen. We'll keep an eye out the window for our lead pair. There's a bit of a gap between the two of them now, so we'll carry on following this. Ava Carter leads a is that, four or five bikes. Is that Klukas now up at the seventh position, actually? I'm just trying to make out. I think that is now Ben Klukas up at the seventh position, the 84, in front of Quarto. So uh, I'll double check, but uh, hang on a minute. Going's come through. Tyres has not. Yeah, no, Tyres tires is still in the leads. Jake. Uh, up at Christmas Corner, you'll see the two of them. Oh yeah, they are still together, that's fine, no problem at all. Then it is Walker, then it is Cincinnapino, and Ava Carter at the front of their little duel. Is there going to be a moment where we're going to see Ryan Tyres make the dive up the inside? This is a great little battle over fifth position, isn't it? Ava Carter having an absolutely terrific ride here at Wilton Mill. This is... Oh, they're down in the middle of the corner! Now that is a, that is a fall in the middle of the corner now. Who is that? I think he was quarter. Oh dear, oh dear. So unfortunately a four bike battle has now become a three bike battle and we're going into the final lap. Here they come. This is Ryan Tyres versus Jake and there's a fall at Christmas as well. Had a couple of riders down there at Christmas unfortunately so that is quarter trying to uh, compose himself once again. Yellow flags are down there. We've well, picked up our leaders up at Christmas corner. Yep, they're uh, up they're to close, but there's a yellow flag at Christmas that time round. So if it's going to be a move from Gowing, it has to be somewhere else. Are we going to see a choice little maneuver for the victory from Jake Gowing, or is this going to be Ryan Tyres from pole position? This is one heck of an opportunity now. Unfortunately, it was uh, Quarter who went down. Oh no, sorry, Quarter's now in fifth place apparently, sixth place. So. Uh, I'm not sure who it was that would have gone down there. It was Vincenzo Rizzo, the 330 went down. Is there one final move in the final turn? No, it is Ryan Tyres who's going to take it. 
tyres just gets there in front of Jake Going. Third for Aaron Walker, the championship leader. Then it is the 145 of Marco Cincinnapino. And then out of the final turn for fifth position, it is going to be Ava Carter, who brings the bike home in fifth in front of Eduardo Corta. Ben Klukas is there in seventh position in front of Steve Booth, who just pips James Mustaka. And rounding out the top ten, it is... Oh, it's close is what it is. Aaron Howe just getting there ahead of Jamie Callan, Danny Underwood, Jake Whitaker, and Chris Edwards ahead of Bailey Harker, Gav Tappen and John Buckle, Josh Stringer. And then rounding up the top 20, it is going to be Adam Jameson on the 59. A whisker, a hair's breadth in front of Hugh Jones and Harry Webb. Wow, that was really exciting, wasn't it? <laughs> Fantastic stuff. A couple of riders really caught out in that one. Let's have a look again. This is the uh, incident a little bit uh, early on in the race. That was Walker. I think that was the first start, actually. Yep, this is the moment when, uh, unfortunately, it all went wrong for Luke Westerman on the original start. We're not entirely sure what happened there, whether that was self-induced or whether that was someone else's incident. This is when Westerman got the move made on him by Aaron Walker. And from this point on, it was basically going backwards. This was the battle between going and tyres. Absolutely brilliant. They both gave as good as they got. Every opportunity, there was another, oppo uh, there was another great move. And that was where the final move was made. But Ava Carter, what an amazing ride she had there, making that beautiful move up the inside of the 27 of... Uh, was that the 27? My apologies. No, that was uh, the 21 of James Mostica. But right the way to the line. One final attempt from Jake going, but Ryan Ty has held him off. Brilliant work in the British mini bikes. Is going up now. The green flag at the front of the field. Let's race for the final time for Pip Bike Stop 160 Group B. And a cracking start from the second row, trying to get into the first corner first. What a start from that outside row. That was uh, Mike Smallbones being challenged there initially. But Mike Smallbones, I think, has still held the initial lead as they come up the hill. It's the 14 of Ward that has shot up into second place into Christmas. The 83 of uh, Alex Thurston got a great start, but was squeezed out on the inside of the first corner, unfortunately. Well, up into third position, I think, has come to Groot. By the look of it, I'll double check. But uh, already a very exciting start. It is to Groot in third position on the 101. So can the group go further than that? It's up to fourth position. That's a bold move there from the 309 of Liam Greenland. Greenland has gone up into fourth place in front of Andrew Jones. So they get through into the heel of the boot. And this is an absolutely terrific start. Yes, we're following David Groot challenging for second place and the pack behind them. Small coming in from Stacey Shaw. And Smallbones, Ward, De Groot, Greenland and Jones. That's your top five as they come through. Brown, Thurston, Pilling, Wadsworth and Matt Cox rounding out the top ten. There is Ward battling away with De Groot. De Groot's going to have a look at the inside. That's a great bit of breaking for De Groot, but he has to bail out of it. He's going to try and get back on terms. But this is great racing from Paul Ward, who's going to hang on a second. De Groot is going to have another go this time on the inside line again. He's going to know he's going to do it. There he goes in a second place. Yeah, it's much earlier, uh, much cleaner than when he tried that earlier, I will say. He's le learned from his past mistake, that's good. So uh, up in the second place then goes the group. But out in front, it is Mike Smallbones once again, looking to make it two out of two from Group B. Third place, Paul Ward trying to catch up with David DeGroote. Then it is Liam Greenland. Greenland is definitely catching up though to Paul Ward. And they are dropping the rest of the field. Oh, and there's an off in uh, the heel of the boot. Uh, the, uh, the ankle, sorry. Somebody is about to tumble down the order. Not sure exactly who that is. But on the far side, that is De Groot. Trying to get away in second position from Paul Ward. That is the 10, I think, going up the inside. Oh, there is a uh, stopped bike. Now, that's the four of Hugh Jones. So Hugh Jones in trouble. And that is where, that is the rider who stopped out at that particular point on the circuit. Fifth position is an absolute dogfight at the moment. There they are, battling away for position. And I think that is the... Oh, who is that that's at the head of that little queue? Because there's about four or five or six of them squabbling away for position. That's De Groot. He's in second place in front of uh, Ward and Greenland, who is still there in fourth position. The top four, no change. Small bones. De Groot, Ward and Greenland. I'm going to look back as you guys continue to look at the pictures. In fifth position, that is the 47. And the... Uh, Double one, double one. Okay, no, so that is Callum Brown. 
He's on what, it looks like the 47, it's actually the 16. And then comes the 104 of Andrew Jones. Oh, there is the 16 making the move up the inside, Callum Brown. I'm not sure who that is in the middle because they're not transponding. Yes, good move up the inside into Christmas corner. Clean and tidy and held the position well. Smallbones, De Groot, Ward and Greenland in the top four. This is a nice little tussle further back. Callum Brown hanging on to the initiative at the moment as they get themselves round the apexes. Down the uh, heel of the boot come the leaders. De Groot is desperately trying to clap, uh, close in on Mike Smallbones. Smallbones leads though from De Groot. Let's have a look at that interval. It was 1.8 last time around. This time it's 1.7. Not much between the two of them. Four laps to go, and David De Groot is trying to chip away at Mike Smallbones, but on a 57-0 compared to a 56-9, De Groot is not getting enough of that gap down to challenge Mike Smallbones before the end of the race. He's going to need some pretty exceptional lap times or a mistake from Smallbones. So uh, a big difficulty for De Groot, and he's got pressure still from Paul Ward in third, but they seem to have made light work of Liam Greenland. Yes, I was going to say, I don't think he's seen the last of Paul Ward. If anything, he looks more likely to come back at him than De Groot looks like to chase Smallbones down, uh, but anything can happen. We've got uh, four laps remaining here, and as you said, Jake, a small mistake from anyone could really sway the tides. Kira Williamson just going through the line as Hugh Jones is uh, back on the bike, but has uh, been lapped on his way around. And look back over the shoulder from Mike Smallbones. He can see that the group is still relatively close. Then it's Ward, Greenland. Callum Brown is battling away for his position. Some great racing. That is Alex Thurston having made his way past Callum Brown. So Thurston, I think, is in sixth position, but I'm not sure who that is in the mix that isn't transponding. I think that might be Stephen Pickard who's making his way forward. But that is David De Groot. No doubt about that one. Room 101 as he makes his way through. So De Groot trying to hang on here in front of Paul Ward, but Ward is still dangerously threatening. Yeah, is that front three? Kind of maintaining distance, we got uh, De Groot now within a second and a half of Smallbones, so slightly eating away at that lead, but nothing too serious for Smallbones to be concerned about. And then Ward just about a second behind De Groot. Um, let's see as they come through the boot, those that's, timings change significantly this time around. That's Pilling, Pilling trying to make his way past Jones, and Peter Wadsworth is staying fairly close to them as we've got just two laps to go now. Smallbones hanging out in the lead of the race. De Groot second, Ward, Greenland. Thurston's having a good battle with Cullen Brown, I think for sixth position, but I've got no indication of that. Uh, then we have uh, Andrew Jones, John Pinning, and Peter Wadsworth coming towards us. The 26 is in there, that is Peter Wadsworth. Up the inside, can he get through? No, he might lose the place to Matt Cox on the 710. So great battles in the mid pack. Now, we've got a bike that's stopped on the exit of uh, Ashby, who is that? Well, we've just seen uh, the 101 of De Groot going through at the bottom end of the boot. He's 1.4 behind Mike Smallbones. Last who's getting the out. last bat board? So I don't think De Groot is gonna get better than second today. Paul Ward is still there in third position, but De Groot is running in second place in the 101, but Paul Ward is getting very, very close indeed. De Groot's gonna need to keep an eye on him as they come up to the Christmas corner. Is he gonna go for it? He's too far back. But Paul Ward has suddenly caught De Groot again. Yes, yeah, not a great penultimate lap from De Groot. He's lost ground on small bones and Ward has closed right up to the back of him. That's what we're watching now. Can he have a go perhaps into the boot? Yeah, I think he might leave this one till last. De Groot suddenly checks over his shoulder and realizes that Ward is there. But out in front, further up the road, Mike Smallbones is gonna make it two out of two. He's on the back straight, into the boot he will go as he laps a slower bike. But out in the lead, there is Smallbones. He's gonna finish this one in Victoria style. Two wins out of two in Group B. It's a brilliant run in the pit box stock 160s. But two races out of two for Mike Smallbones. He's happy with that. That's some good points in the championship banked. And he's very worthy of that result. Second place for the group. Ward in third, Greenland is in fourth place. Good racing in that one, a little bit more tame than the first one. I don't think they wanted another red flag, but uh, great riding there from De Groot and Phil Ward, uh, sorry, Paul Ward, battling away for that top three and a good effort.
Yes, great riding from our top three. The picture of consistency, I would say, across the course of that race. And uh, fully deserving of their podiums. So a double win for Mike Smallbones, and that was uh, a very consolidated job he did there. Perhaps not as action-packed as the original race. Let's have a look. That was the first lap. There was definitely some action there on that first lap. In the midfield, lots of jostling for position. Here's the move from De Groot on Ward. He had to bail out of it. Give it a few more corners. He sized him up nicely. That was beautifully executed. Dived through on the inside. Wasn't able to finish the move, but then he did it at Ashby. And that was a rider definitely in command of his faculties. Here's the move from Callum Brown to move up another position. And we got to see a nice little tussle here with John Pilling on the back of Andrew Jones. Pilling made the move, wasn't able to finish the job. And uh, very nearly lost the place there to Peter Wadsworth. But an absolutely terrific run. We're going to have one more race, we're told, which is the Pit, Bog, uh, Pit Bike Stock 160 Group A. And then we will pause the stream and come back to it. So we, we are going to stick around for the Stock 160 Group A first. Stock Group B is won by that man, Mike Smallbones. Two yeah. out of two. Apologies for lying to, lying to you all, but uh, I was lying to myself and only relaying the information I was fed. At the back of the grid, and I have a feeling this one could be a better race even than we had earlier on. The yellow flag will rise at the back, it does. The green flag at the front, wait for it. Now, what a start from the Aaron Walker, the championship leader. Not the best of starts for Westerman, but slotting into fifth position in there behind. I think that was uh, Alfredo Tomasini moving up into fourth place. Tomasini's going to have a look as they come up to Christmas into the inside line. They're going to make their way through Christmas corner. All sorts of jostling and jockeying for position, but out in front, that is no problem at all for Jake Gowing having a good run at the front of the field. And Walker takes up second place from Christmas corner. He got ahead of Ryan Tyres there. Down the drop, going as your lead up. Tyres uh, now trying to battle his way back through. Walker is in position there somewhere. We're going to watch them as they come through. Tomasini trying to make his uh, bid to come through. Your leader is now uh, the, uh, the leader is going. Then it is Walker. Tyres diving up the inside. Tomasini. Luke Westerman tried to come through. So they're continuing on. Westerman has not come through in fourth place, despite what the uh, transponder says. I think Westerman is in fifth place, actually. I think that's Tomasini who's come through in fourth position. The Italian on the three bike. I'll just double check as they come through. Yes, it's Tomasini in fourth. Then it is Westerman in fifth position. Then it's Mostica, Cinturipino, Quarter, Carter, Callan, and Klukas. So really exciting start to this race, and it still could go any one of the leading four riders' way. Yes, as you say that, Walker gets a great run down the back straight, thinks about having to go into the boot, but uh, thinks better of it. So it is still going from Walker, Tyres, and Tomasini. Tomasini looking quite hungry there in fourth position as Tyres is getting a good run off the turn. Walker closing up on Gowing. Jake Gowing is your leader. Second is Walker, third is Tyres, fourth Tomasini, and fifth is Westerman. Sixth place, I think that is Marco Cincinnabino in sixth position. Here comes Tomasini. Has a look into third place. Not going to get the move done there on Aaron Walker. No, sorry, not going to make the move done on Tyres. Tyres is going to have a look there at Aaron Walker. Walker hanging on in second place. This is how he's got solid points on the board. But Jake Going is looking likely. He's going to try and get that victory back that he fought for earlier on. Westerman trying to keep tabs on the back of this group. Just about keeping in touch. Tomasini looking the most racy out of the four of them. He's having a look everywhere and anywhere. Yeah, Tomasini's making up for the lost time of earlier on, didn't he? He was compromised in that first race and lost ground. Now Tomasini wants the podium. This could be a good run on the leader. Walker is going to get a much better run on Gowing, who drifts out wide. Tomasini's going to try and squeeze past uh, the... He's going to try and squeeze past Tyres. He doesn't get the opportunity. Tyres is going to get a good run off the turn. Walker is going to slot in there behind going, and Tomasini has a little bit of a breakthrough. Can't get into third place, though. And all this is helping Luke Westerman to close up a little bit more in fifth place. Yes, he's getting closer. It's going to be a five-way battle sooner rather than later. Well, Ava Carter's not having as good a run as she did earlier. She's knocking on the door of the top uh, six, but still quite a long way back. Battling away with the likes of the 23 of Brendan Allen and Eduardo Quarter, the 52. 
Onto the back straight again. Tomasini's looking very hungry on the inside of Tyres for third. He can't get there. Really good defence again from Ryan Tyres. But Jake Going holds the lead in front of Aaron Walker. I'm going to go ahead and say uh, it's been a bit uh, tentative so far. Oh, Tomasini through. Tomasini slots into third place. He's got Ryan Tyres this time. So that is and now going to be having to be a bit of a fight back from Ryan Tyres in fourth position. Alfredo Tomasini has got through in a third position. Nice move. I knew that would work. I knew saying that nothing had happened yet would make something happen. Tomasini, as I said earlier, looking the most likely to make something happen. Be interesting to see now if he can make an impression on oh, third. Oh, he is having a go at Walker. Doesn't quite get there. He is having a nice slice on the inside, though. Some really good manoeuvres coming in from this Group A race. In the pit bike stop, 160. Aaron Walker's going to lose out to Tomasini in the braking zone. Tomasini in a second place now. He's got time and he's got distance to make the move now on Jake Going. He's got three laps to go. Tomasini is going for victory. He's Let's going see. for the lead already. Oh. oh! Into the first corner. That was brave. <laughs> Don't think he'll get a run at Christmas. And in fact, uh, might have Walker taking a look at him. Look, look at Westerman. Westerman's on the back of this train now. This is a five-man brawl for the victory. We've got uh, Aaron Walker tucked up there in third position. Tyres is there in fourth place. Tomasini still having a go. Jake going for the lead of the race. But Luke Westerman has gone onto the back of this queue now. So there's five of them. There's only three spaces on that podium. And they are having a terrific jostle. Can Jake going hold on to this? In the lead of the race from Tomasini. Walker still in third place from Tyres and Westerman. This is an amazing scrap from the five of them. Tomasini wants a good run off the turn. Oh, there's a rider down on the way through. So they're having to slow down. Red flag, red flag. So we've had an off there. Red flag. So that is going to be declared as a result with uh, two laps to go. So Tomasini is going to finish up second in the end behind uh, our race winner, which is going to be declared as uh, 34 so a rather sour end to what was turning into a pretty intense battle, unfortunately. Jake Going has, uh, I think it's going to be Jake Going who will be declared as our race winner in front of Tomasini from Aaron Walker, Ryan Tyres, and fifth place, uh, Luke Westerman. But uh, a rather sad end, unfortunately. The red flag as we went on to the uh, final lap there. Well, it was, we were about to start the final lap. And uh, for a one-lap race, I don't think we're going to restart that one.